Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to build a simple invoice app using .NET MAUI. In today's video, we'll continue from where we left off and implement the print feature in our invoice app. Now let's go back to the report controller that we created earlier. If you haven't watched my earlier videos, you can check out the links I've pinned in the comments below. Inside this controller, we'll add a new HTTP POST action named Create Invoice. This action receives an order object from the client, saves it to the database, and then renders the RDLC report into a PDF byte array, which is returned as the response. Now switch to the .NET MAUI project, then create a new folder named Services. Inside it, add an interface called iInvoice Service. This interface defines two operations, one to call a web API and get the PDF bytes, and another to save the PDF locally and then open it. Next, we'll create a class called Invoice Service that implements this interface. In this class, we'll declare an HTTP client to call the web API and define a constant for the relative API endpoint. Inside the generate invoice async method, we first validate the input order and throw an exception if it's null. Then we create JSON from the order object using JSON serializer with camel case naming and ignore nulls so the payload stays compact. We're going to wrap the JSON inside a string content with application slash JSON as the content type. Then we call post async to send the request to the server and use ensure success status code to throw an exception if any HTTP error occurs. Finally, we read the response as a byte array and return it. Those bytes represent the PDF file. The open PDF async method does two things. First, it writes the PDF bytes to the app's cache folder with the given file name. Then it uses the platform launcher to open the saved file with whatever PDF viewer is available on the device. Now, open the code behind for main page. We'll inject the iInvoice service into the constructor so we can easily call it from anywhere inside this page without creating new instances manually. Now let's go back to the print invoice clicked event handler. We'll handle the process of calling the API, generating the PDF and opening it inside the app. Inside the print invoice clicked event handler, we first validate the input and then build an order object with items from the UI. After that, we disable the button to prevent duplicate clicks.
Next, we call the invoice generation API, open the returned PDF if it exists, and finally, re-enable the button. Any errors are displayed with a simple alert. Let's open Manage NuGet Packages and install the following package before using the HTTP client. This adds HTTP client factory support, which we'll use to register and configure the HTTP client. Next, go ahead and open mauiprogram.cs to add this service registration. Then, copy the URL of your web API and paste it into the base address so the Maui client talks to the correct server. Now let's test our app on a Windows machine. If everything works correctly, you should see the invoice open after clicking the print invoice button. Next let's switch to the Android emulator. When running on Android, there are a couple of extra changes we need to make for local testing. First, update the web API to use HTTP instead of HTTPS during development. Second, change localhost to 10.0.2.2 and keep the same HTTP port. Here's why we need to do that. The Android emulator runs in a separate virtual environment. It doesn't share the same loopback interface with the host machine that uses the name localhost. The special IP 10.0.2.2 allows the emulator to route network requests back to the host machine. Also, many emulators don't accept self-signed HTTPS certificates by default, so using plain HTTP during development avoids certificate trust issues. Just remember to use HTTP for local testing and HTTPS for production. After making those changes, rebuild and run the app on the emulator And that's it. We've successfully saved an invoice, generated a PDF from it, and opened it on both Windows and the Android emulator. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more tutorials on .NET MAUI and ASP.NET Core. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.